Hey fools, anyone following the Affordable Care Act knows that a lot of Americans are worried about the cost of insurance under Obamacare. There's been a lot of uncertainty here, and there have been some studies that show that young adults will pay more. Now to help us answer that question why they're going to pay more is our Director of Investment Planning, Dan Kaplinger. Hi, Dan. Hey, Max. So, Dan, why are young adults so important for the implementation of the Affordable Care Act? Well, the thing is that the whole economic situation of Obamacare really relies on the program attracting interest from a representative cross-section of the American population. And so, you know, it's not good enough just to have one particular age group interested in Obamacare. You really need to get people of all ages involved. And in particular, both President Obama and former President Clinton have said that it's very important to get young adults into the Obamacare program in order for the economics to work out properly. Right, Dan. So th there's been a lot of analysis from various sources on what young adults will pay in premiums. And uh, you dug into a study from the American Action Forum. Uh, what did the study find? Well, that study took a look at what the impact of Obamacare would be on the premiums that young adults pay on their health, in health insurance. And what the, that, what the forum found out was that in its look, Residents in all 50 states, young adults would be paying more under Obamacare. And so, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a big problem, and it's something that many people fear could keep young adults out of the program. So, Dan, what's behind the rise in costs? I'd say probably the biggest factor, you know, the study identified several different factors involved. But probably the most important one is this. Young adults tend to believe that they don't need as much health care as, as older adults do. And in general, young adults are healthier, and so that belief is reasonably valid. Now, as a result of that, young adults are more likely to buy insurance policies that don't provide as comprehensive levels of coverage as you get when you get older. And so, as a result of Obamacare, the new law, the Affordable Care Act, actually imposes minimum restrictions on the quality and comprehensiveness of health insurance policies available under the program. And so basically, young adults are being forced to get higher quality policies, even if they don't think that they really need them. And that in large part is leading to those higher costs. In addition, you have other provisions, things like the elimination of pre-existing conditions. Those things can tend to be, you know, they impose more costs on young adults, even though they're less likely to need to take advantage of them, because usually it's older Americans who've had enough health experience to have pre-existing conditions going forward. Okay, Dan, so as investors, we definitely let the politicians debate Obamacare on Capitol Hill, but we do have to be aware of the economic impacts here and the impacts on businesses. So as, uh, as an analyst, what do you think? Well, you know, the real question with Obamacare and its exchanges has been whether the exchanges would attract the kind of uh, attention that they would need in order to be economically viable. And in particular, WellPoint has made a very big bet on those exchanges, participating in a large number of them. And so if the exchanges don't pull in enough young adults, it could make things problematic for the viability of WellPoint's exchange-related insurance policy. Now, at the same time, though, you know, you might think it'd be good news for companies like United Health and Humana that have really stayed out of the healthcare exchange situation. But because Obamacare imposes those same sort of minimum coverage restrictions on insurance policies, both inside and outside the exchanges, you know, they might end up taking a hit, too, if the provisions end up resulting in fewer young adults buying coverage at all. So the real question is whether young adults will go through the healthcare exchanges or go outside the exchanges to other, to other products. And depending on which way they go, we'll tell you which companies are most likely to profit from them. Okay, thanks a lot for your analysis, Dan. This is definitely a story we're going to continue covering in the months ahead. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in getting more information on the Affordable Care Act and how it impacts investors, be sure to read Dan Kaplinger's column at Fool.com.